Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLeo with using windowshomeserver.com and the BYOB podcast. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Oweco Wake on LAN add-in for Veil Server. And I'm also going to show you some of the new features that this new version has. So you can see here I have this big gap in my screen because I've already removed the previous version. Now I'm going to uh, actually copy the new version to my folder and then install it from there. Now if you have the prior version, you can just use the update tab and I'll show you how to do that afterwards. But let's go through it just from a clean installation. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to documents. And you can see that I have my prior version here. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this out. It's my prior version. Now I want to upload folders to this folder. Uh, you can't drag the MSI files over in here, but I can use the standard upload method and go to browse and then go to my desktop and then upload from there. I've just never understood. Maybe someday I'll ask or maybe someday someone can tell me. So I'm going to upload the file. So now I have the server add-in package ready to go. So now I'm going to go back to home and I'm going to go to connect. Now for those of you playing the home game, you can do a lot of this quickly and easily through the remote desktop connection. Uh, it's probably the fastest and easiest way to go. Remote desktop in, copy and paste and do it that way. But I'm going to do everything over the web uh, as a different type of interface this time. So I have my uh, dashboard here. Now I'm going to use the remote launcher. Remember the remote launcher is the key to this because I need to move it from my documents over to um, the desktop so I can get to it. So I'm going to go to Explorer, open up my Explorer, go to Computer, go to Documents, open it up. Here's my file. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go right to desktop and I'm going to go to paste. Now that I'm there, I'm going to double click on it. It's going to install. Again, the remote launcher is the key to this. That's totally the craziest, best add-in ever. Now for the new version, you can either install it only on the server or you can push it out via the launch pad to the other computers on the network. Now I'll explain this how this works is, is this will actually connect to the launch pads that are connected to the server right now and install the add-in onto the launch pad, which is really cool. If your computer's not on, the next time it restarts, it'll try and install it. So let's click on install the add-in, wait for it to go through and install the add-in itself, and then we'll double check in the dashboard and we'll close it and reopen it and make sure that everything's working cool. So three, two, one, Add-in is almost installed. There we go. You can see that um, if the add-in did not install successfully on the computers in the network, you can use the alert viewer, which I'll show you in a few minutes, to complete the installation. So let's click on close. Let's close out the remote launcher. Let's close out the dashboard. Okay. Let's reload the home page. And hey, check it out. Here is my wake on LAN back the way it's supposed to be. So here is where we add and here's what it's going to look like. So we're going to go into connect to the Veil server. We'll get in there right now. And we should see the add-in and everything hunky-dory the way it is. Hunky-dory being a technical term, of course. Here is my dashboard. I'm going to go right to add-ins. And you can see that I have the Wake on LAN version. Now see over here where it says install the add-in on computers in the network? This will actually push out to the launch pad. So let's see what that's going to look like. Again, everything is being done over the internet here. So as we're doing this, everything's just through the web interface. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start up the HTPC3. And this is one of the servers that Andrew, Eddie, and I use, uh, one of the PCs that we use uh, as part of the server package. And what I'm doing now is I'm remote starting this in the garage. And you may have seen this on the other videos. So now I'm going to put it on pause for a second so it'll turn green and drop off the list. And then we'll go through and we'll log in and I'll show you how it works and what it's going to do. So we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, step back. It's only been a couple of minutes. I'm going to reload the page and notice that it's now dropped off. HTPC3 has dropped off the radar. If your listing is not shown here, your computer, you can actually go to connect to more computers. And you can see here that we have the HTPC3 listed. So you can actually access it from the first page. Or if you have multiple computers, you can click it from here. So now what I'm going to do is log into that computer that I just started 
uh, and show you what it looks like. Again, all this is being done over uh, the internet, so it's nice to be able to actually get to everything. Start it, stop it, do what you need to do. You can see here that I'm actually connected now to my computer. It launched up. Uh, you can see I have this add-ins selection now. I never had this before. Uh, the add-ins allow you to actually push out to the launch pad. I can click on add-ins. And now here is my Wiko Wake on LAN actually as part of the launch pad. I can click on this. It takes just a second to bring it up for the first time. It's connecting with the server. And you can see here that I have the ability to punch in which computer I want to wake up. So this is really good news that I can actually log in, or excuse me, wake on land any of these computers through the launch pad. Now, why would you want to do that, for example? Well, let me tell you how this works. Once you wake up a computer, so we assume that we push one of these and wake it up. I can get back out of here. Here's my launch pad. One of the things that I can do is I can double click on my computer. And again, I'm all through the web right now with that. Down here on the left hand side, you can see it says network. Well, what you can do is you can actually click on the network and you got to give it a minute to load up. But it'll actually find all of the PCs that are available on your network. Now, again, this doesn't go into domains and everything else because you don't have the, uh, the network sharing set up. Uh, if you're in a domain type system like Active Directory kind of thing. But for those of us on home networks, what it's going to do is it's now going to show you all of the PCs that are on the network. Now it takes a minute depending on how often uh, you've done this, if you've done it in, in the last few minutes uh, or if you've done it. But you can see here are all of the active PCs, the ones that are open and running right now. Now remember, I'm on the internet connected to Vail that connected to HTPC Three. Now what I can do is I can actually connect to HTPC5 if I want. I can right mouse click and click on connect with remote do, uh, desktop connection. So check this out again. I'm on the internet connecting to Vail, connecting to HTPC3, and I can actually remote desktop to HTPC5. So let's do this now. So now I'm actually doing this uh, into my fourth computer. And I'm actually on a computer now. So one computer I'm on, Vail is to um, HTPC3 and then HTPC5. So sorry, four computers that I'm connected to. So this to me is like the coolest thing ever that I can RDC to an RDC to an RDC. Uh, with this one, I'm actually, I think I'm recording on HTPC5 right now. So uh, recording HD home run signals. So it's going a little slow while it's recording, but here we go. Now I'm on another computer. So this is just like the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to close this out, finish my terminal session, and I'm all set. Anyway, that's the coolest thing ever. Again, I'm going to home. You can see my computers are here, and then I can, again, log in. So hope you get a chance to check out this add-in. Uh, hope you uh, enjoy it, and we'll talk to you soon.